Is 799 available? A call for an air ambulance. A premature baby needs emergency care. Let's continue that for now. It's a completely different environment for patient care. Before we leave, we always take the baby to see the parents. We're a link in the chain of survival. Bandage one, next. An air ambulance races across the sky over Toronto. It is called Bandage One, and it carries a precious cargo. Darren McCoy, a premature baby only a few hours old, who needs the specialized care of the hospital for sick children. Aboard Bandage One, a portable incubator, a wide range of medical equipment, two air medics, and two specially trained neonatal transport nurses. Sheila Evans is a senior transport nurse. I started working in a nursery, a level two nursery, and I really enjoyed that. And I decided I liked um, the challenge of babies who were you know, really quite ill and being able to help them. I knew about the transport team. I'd worked quite closely with the transport team when I worked at a community hospital. I saw the team in action and I just was amazed. You go out on the transport as an assistant the first time and you suddenly, you're in a strange environment uh, with babies that are very sick and you're lacking the resources that you had at your own home hospital. You're humbled very easily. I was brought up around planes. My father was a, a private flying instructor. So it wasn't new to me to be on a plane. It was new to me to be on a helicopter. There's a bit of scariness involved in it because you're a medevac and you do go in conditions that are maybe a little bit more uh, tenuous than you would normally go in and you're in a small aircraft. It can be a little bit fatiguing and sometimes your ascent and descent can be a little rapid and so you have a bit of fatigue or sometimes a little bit of nausea and whatnot. But um, generally um, it's exciting initially, but then it just sort of becomes part of the job, and what's more is actually the patient. Um, he was just born this morning, okay. and he looks appropriate. He's on a rate of 28, and he's on... Uh... The call came from Oshawa General, which is about 30 miles from here. It was a mother who, this was her fourth pregnancy, and this uh, lady uh, woke up with severe pain. Um, in her abdomen at about 4 o'clock this morning and she was just 29 and a bit weeks pregnant. So very quickly they arranged for her to have a emergency cesarean section. But being born at 29 weeks gestation, which is quite early, the baby needed some help with some breathing. Then we gave the baby surfactant and that's what their lung illness is all about is RDS or respiratory distress syndrome and they have a shortage of surfactant in their lungs. And the baby responded really wonderfully to the drug. Is uh, a little full. 